to Connect Church at Home. I'm Katie, and I am so glad that you are joining us here for church. What's your favorite thing about Easter, huh? Is it the Easter eggs? Is it the candy? Is it Easter egg hunts? Hmm? I love Easter dinner. Oh, all the good things that you get to eat. Hmm? Am I right? <laughs> at Connect HQ, they love the decorations, the fun, the candy, all that good stuff. But most of all, they love the real reason that we celebrate on Easter. And we have a point all about that. Say it with me. Jesus died for all our sin, so we can be friends forever with him. Awesome. Now let's go to Connect to learn about worship. Does anybody have an awesome way that we can connect to God? Shout them out. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like that one. Here's another way that we can connect to him, by singing songs. We can worship God by focusing our full attention on Him and telling Him how great He is. When we thank God for all that He's done for us, it really does bring us closer to Him. So let's get up on our feet and connect to God together. Oh, 
is greater than No one is bigger than No one is stronger than Hey! No one is greater than Jaden, thank you so much for getting here early and helping with the Easter decorations. I really appreciate it. I, um... Jaden! Yeah. Oh. <sighs> hey, Tony. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. I had trouble getting to sleep last night. Well, that's not good. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything's gonna be fine. I hope. I think. I'm sure. I'm positive. All right. And I am so excited to decorate this place. Yay. Okay. Well, uh, I'll be decorating downstairs, so if you have any questions or if you need any help, just let me know, okay? I will do that. Okay. <sighs> what am I going to do? is now in session. The Honorable Judge Harper is presiding. Please be seated. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Jaden, and this is the time I learned what love is. W what's going on? Well, this is a court case. Your court case, actually. Your own trial. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Calling the case of Amanda versus Jaden. What? Why? I mean, how? How? You're dreaming, so, yeah. Are you serious? Well, I mean, I know things that connect to you can get a little bit strange, but you have to admit, even this is a little out there. <laughs> Your Honor, Jaden has been charged with lying to her friend Amanda and treating her unkindly. During this trial, the evidence will prove that she is guilty as charged. Your Honor, Jaden is innocent. And the evidence will prove that she only acts in the best interest of her friends. Could I request a five minute break? Well, it's your dream, so probably, yeah. Request granted. Court will resume in five minutes. Jaden, Jaden, why are you so worried? Everyone knows how great of a friend you are. This is gonna be the easiest case in the world. 
Did something happen between you and Amanda? Everything was fine until Saturday. And then, and then... You two better get back to the courtroom. We're about to start back up. Listen, just go in there, tell the truth, and everything will get worked out, okay? Okay, cool. Dot, you may call your first witness. I call Mike to the stand. Mike, do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, to help you God? Amen. You may be seated. Mike, tell me. I object. You are the witness, Mike. You cannot object. Tell me about what happened last Friday afternoon. So Jaden and I, we were looking for links about Easter for this kid named Connor, and we just found the verse, Lincoln. Ah, oh, I think I have the perfect verse. It comes from 1 John chapter 4, verse 10. Do you want to say it with me? Definitely. 1 John 4, 10. 1 John 4, 10. God loved us. God loved us. And sent his son to give his life to pay for our sins. And sent his son to give his life to pay for our sins. God's love is real love. He doesn't love us because we love him or we do good. He just loves us. And he showed that love for us by allowing his son Jesus to take our sin and the punishment we deserve. <gasps> I can't wait to share this verse with Connor. Oh. Hey, ah. hey, Amanda, could you turn your music down some? I can't really hear you. Oh, thank you. Hey, Amanda, what's up? Oh, your favorite polka band is playing in the park this Saturday? Oh, well, I'm pretty worn out from this week. I think I'm just gonna stay home tomorrow. Thanks so much for inviting me. Bye. Transmission. Mm. Uh, so, you heard Jaden tell Amanda that she was too tired to go out on Saturday? Yeah, I did. Thank you. I have no further questions. Tony, do you have any questions? Yes, Your Honor, I do. Mike, did Jaden seem tired when you saw her? Yes, she seemed super tired. So I said she should go home early to get some rest. Mm. Thank you. No further questions, Your Honor. Mike, you're excused. But I had so many good things to say about Jaden, like how she does this. No. Mike. <sighs> Sorry. Dot, you may call your next witness. See, I told you there was nothing to worry about. Cat, tell me what happened on Saturday. I had just found the perfect point link for Connor. Jesus died for all our sins so we can be friends forever with him. Claire, could you repeat that point? Jesus died for all our sins so we can be friends forever with him. All right, so you found the point. Then what happened? I got a call from Jaden. Hey Jaden, what's up? Kelsey and I are at this awesome new mac and cheese food truck. You need to come check it out. Okay, I'll be done here in a minute. I'd love to come join you after. Yes, I can't wait for you to try. Wait, is that? That's Amanda. Amanda? Your friend Amanda? Oh no, she spotted us. I'm so sorry, Kat. I don't think I'm gonna be able to meet you after all. I'll talk to you later. Even though Jaden told her friend Amanda that she was too tired to do anything on Saturday, she said she was out with her friend Kelsey that very day? That's correct. I have no further questions. Tony, do you have any questions? Uh, no, Your Honor, I don't. Kat, you're excused. Dot, do you have any other witnesses? Your Honor, I rest my case. Tony, are you ready to present your case? Yes, Your Honor, I am. I'd like to call Jaden to the stand. <sighs> okay, Jaden, can you walk us through what happened? On Friday, you told, well, what exactly did she say, Claire? She said, I'm feeling pretty worn out from this week, so I think I'll just stay home tomorrow. But thanks so much for inviting me. Right, but 
You wound up going to the food truck with Kelsey anyway, correct? Yes, but I did spend all Saturday morning at home, but then Kelsey called around lunch and asked if I wanted to try the new food truck. And I was feeling more rested, and it sounded like a really good idea, and I told her I would meet her there. But that's when we ran into Amanda. Mm, and how did Amanda react to that? Oh, well, not good. She said I was a mean person and that I had obviously lied about being tired because I didn't want to hang out with her. Well, did you lie about being tired? No, I really was tired on Friday. But by the time Saturday came around, I was feeling better. And that's why I went to the food truck with Kelsey. Thank you, Jaden. No further questions, Your Honor. Dot, do you have any questions? Yes, Your Honor. Claire, could you go back to Jaden's phone call and read what came just before? Hello. Oh, hey, Amanda. What's up? Your favorite polka band that's performing at the park on Saturday? Uh, I'm feeling pretty worn out from this week, so I think I'll just stay home. But thank you so much for inviting me. Jaden, what is this? Um, <clears throat> it's my journal. Last Thursday, you wrote. Amanda keeps trying to convince me to listen to different polka bands, but I don't have the heart to tell her that I don't like polka music at all. So tell me, Jaden, did you really tell Amanda that you didn't want to hang out with her on Saturday because you were tired? I, uh... I... Or was it because the last thing you wanted to do was spend a couple hours listening to her favorite polka band? I, I just... Tell the truth, Jaden! I didn't want to see the polka band, okay? <laughs> Look, I was tired, but I just used it as an excuse. So, you admit to lying to your friend Amanda and treating her unkindly? Yes. Thank you. I have no further questions. Okay, so we'll just wait here until Judge Harper makes her decision on whether you're guilty or innocent. I think we both know what I deserve. I'm guilty. I lied to my friend, Tony. Why didn't you just tell the truth? I don't know. I guess lying just felt easier than telling the truth. You know, I spent all this time acting like I'm a good friend when maybe I'm always just doing what's easiest for me. I don't think that's true. Maybe not, but that doesn't change the fact that I let Amanda down. I let God down. I know that lying or making any other kind of wrong or unkind choice breaks his heart and breaks my forever friendship with him. I should know better. Oh, I feel terrible. You can head back to the courtroom. Judge Harper has made her decision. Well, that was quick. Yeah, let's go see what she says. Ladies and gentlemen, I have reached a decision. In the case of Amanda versus Jaden, I find Jaden not Guilty. What? How? Sit down, please, Dot. You heard her confess. It's all right there. She lied. She's guilty. Claire, would you show the record to Dot? What? How is this possible? You all heard her. We all heard. 1 John 4.10. God loved us and sent his son to give his life to pay for our sins. The verse she found for Connor is the only part of her testimony that's still there. That's because it's the only part that matters. But, Jake, would you get me the television remote? I would like to submit my own evidence. Is that allowed? I'm the judge in this stream. I can do what I want. Okay. This is the Bible link Jaden found for Connor. I think we should all give it a look. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. God's word for things to discover This book is alive Full of answers and godly advice This book is alive See the wonderful stories inside Every day I'm searching Read through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story lives There's no other book like this This book is alive. John. Have you 
heard the story of how God so loved the world that he gave to all of us his only son. Jesus grew into a man, he healed the sick, he loved the lonely, he gave God's love away to everyone. Jesus gave it all. Followed him, they'd never seen that kind of love. He loved them all, no matter what they've done. But not everyone was happy, some of them were jealous. So they made plans to kill God's only son. Jesus gave it all. And one night while he was praying, some soldiers came to find him. They took to their rules, who didn't know just what to do. They asked the people gathered just what they should do with him. The crowds crucify him, though he did nothing wrong. Jesus gave it all. And the soldiers tried to break him. The crowds, they mocked and scorned. They led him up a hill called Calvary. And then nailed them to a cross Till he asked God to forgive them They didn't understand That it was all for you and me Jesus gave it all Jesus said he is finished Then he took his final breath And the sky grew black as midnight And the earth began to shake And the crowd began to tremble they shook their heads in wonder And the soldiers said I know that this man was the son of God Jesus gave it all And they took him off the cross They placed him in a tomb They rolled a large round stone In the doorway of the cave Some soldiers they stood watching Making sure no one could enter Jesus' friends were sad and hopeless As they all went home that day Jesus gave it all On the morning of the third day His mother Mary came to see him To make his body ready For the grave where he would lay But the tomb, it was empty an angel came to tell her he's not here, he's risen. See the stone's been rolled away. Jesus gave it all. Jesus gave it all. Jesus gave it all. All of us mess up sometimes. We do things that make us feel guilty, but no matter what we've done, there's good news. Jesus is the savior of the world. He loves us so much. He saved us by taking the punishment we deserve for all the bad stuff we've done. You know this is true, Jaden. And when Jesus died on the cross for our sins and came back to life, the power of death and all the wrong things we've done stayed dead. He defeated them. That's right. When you chose to follow Jesus and accept his forgiveness, you were given a new forever friendship with God that can't be broken. Sin and guilt can't hold you back now. It's just like the point link says, Jesus died for all our sins so we can be friends forever with him. I've been so caught up in how badly I messed up with Amanda that I forgot I already have God's forgiveness. Now I just need to make things right with her too. That's right. Everyone, court is adjourned. Jaden, you can wake up now. Jaden. What have you been doing for the past half hour? Um, I've just been working through some things. But I'll get these decorations up in a jiffy. Okay. Hey there, I'm Jaden, and I'm a part of Connect HQ. I have an amazing verse that I'd like to share with you. It goes like this, 1 John 4, 10. God loved us and sent his son to give his life to pay for our sins. 
God's love is real love. And He doesn't love us because of anything we do. He just loves us. And He showed that love for us by allowing His Son, Jesus, to take our sin and the punishment we deserve. We all have times when we feel guilty and may even feel like we're just pretending to be good instead of actually being good. But no matter how many times we've messed up, Jesus still paid the price for all those bad things. He died for us because of how much He loves us. But Jesus didn't stay dead. After He died, He came back to life. But the power of sin and death did stay dead. He defeated them which means we have forever friendship with God and forgiveness. That means that when you choose to follow Jesus and accept His forgiveness, sin and guilt can't hold you back. That's why we celebrate Easter, because Jesus died for all our sins so we can be friends forever with Him. There is no better reason to celebrate. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I wanted to tell you guys the great news. I called Amanda, and we had a long talk. I was honest with her about everything that happened, and I told her how much I loved being her friend and that I was sorry for lying to her. And she forgave me. Her favorite polka band is playing this weekend, and this time, I'm gonna go with her. You know, maybe I've been too hard on polka music all this time. Hmm. Uh, uh, nope, I still hate it. Today, we are celebrating the awesome, amazing, incredible love Jesus showed for us when He paid the price for our sins and came back to life. When we make the choice to follow Jesus, we are given forgiveness for all the wrong things that we've done and a new forever friendship with God. Would you like to make that choice today? If so, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk to a parent or leader you trust. Did you make that choice to follow Jesus today? If you did, I am so proud of you. But it doesn't stop there. Be sure to talk about it with a trusted adult today. Okay, we're gonna do our Bible verse together. Are you ready? All right, 1 John 4, 10. God loved us and sent His Son to give His life to pay for our sins. That Bible verse is such good news. Jesus gave His life so we can be forever friends with God. And you can do something fun with your family to help you remember that. Here's how to play. Okay, pretend that one side of the room that you are in is a life without God lost in sin. And then the other side is a forever friendship with Him. And the only way to get from the sin side to the friendship side is to follow Jesus. Okay, so all the kids in your family, you're gonna go to the sinful side of the room. And all of the adults out there they get to pick a fun movement for the kids, like spinning or crawling or like walking backwards to get to the other side of the room. Now, everyone's gonna say, Jesus died for all our sin so we can be friends forever with him. Then the kids will do the movement to get to the friendship side of the room. Okay, you got it? You can repeat this game as many times as you want. And once you're ready to start, just pause the video and I'll be right here waiting for you when you're finished. Jesus died for all our sins so we can be friends forever with him. Jesus died for all our sins so we can be friends forever with him. Huh. <laughs> I am so thankful that God loved us enough to send His Son, Jesus, to be our Savior. It's why we celebrate Easter. It's the day that our Savior came back to life. And a great Bible plan all about following Jesus and getting to know Him is called, Do You Know Who Jesus Is? Just look for it in your YouVersion Bible app and read it together as a family. We've got some great discussion questions for your family, so stay tuned for the cues, and I will see you later.